every time throughout history we have put better and more powerful technology in the hands of creators, I think we collectively get better creative output and people do just more amazing stuff. I mean, an, an even bigger question is when they haven't consented to it. In our opening session, Carol Cadwallader um, showed, you know, chat GPT, give a talk in the style of Carol Cadwallader. And sure enough, it gave a talk that wasn't quite as good as the talk she gave, but it's pretty impressive. And um, she said, okay, it's great, but I did not consent to this. How are we going to navigate this? Like, like isn't there a way, sh should it just be people who consented or shouldn't there be a model that somehow says that any named individual in a prompt whose work is then used, they should get something for that? So right now, if you use our image gen thing and say, you know, I want something in the style of a living artist, it won't, it won't do that. Um, but if you say I want it in the style of this particular like, kind of vibe or this studio or this art movement or whatever it will. Um, I, and, and obviously, if you're like, you know, output a song that is like a copy of the song, it won't do that. The, the question of like where that line should be and how people say like, this is too much. We, we sorted that out before with copyright law and kind of what fair use looks like. I, again, I think in the world of AI, there will be a new model that we figure out. Um, but, but from, right from now, the point of view, I mean, the world's the full of cre it's creative people are some of the angriest people right now, or the most scared people about AI. And the difference between feeling your work's being stolen from you and your future is being stolen from you and feeling your work is being amplified and can be amplified, those are such different feelings. And if, if we could shift to the other one, yeah. to the second one, that, I think that really changes how much humanity as a whole embraces all this. 